<laughs> so I just walked into a local business without my mask on, and there was a clear sign on the door that said, you have to wear one. <laughs> the clerk came up to me and said, sir, you have to put on your mask. So I asked him, which is more important, my money or my mask? Ew. Because if it's my mask, I'll just go somewhere else. Guess which one he chose. That's what I thought. Ew! Ew! Everything about this makes me so annoyed. His laugh in the beginning, that little <laughs> The first thing that I heard, I was like, Karen, I need me to know the context behind this video. What a beautiful day to go to the mall for some holiday shopping. Oh, look at this phone. Hey, honey, boo boo, where's your mask? It's just about affected here as it is on your face. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you want to have Yeah, bud. Ready for your internet debut? <laughs> Crossgates Mall in Albany, New York. This honey baby just won't wear his mask. <laughs> I know who you are. You don't know who I am. Oh, yeah, what, princess? Want, want to get in a tilly? I'll send you packing. I know karate. I'm a yellow belt. Who is this and why is he telling him to put on clothes? That's what I'm worried about. I see he has sleeves. Is he not wearing pants? I'm confused. I'm honestly not even concerned about this male Karen not wearing a mask. I just want to know what this person's wearing because he told you to put on some clothes. What? God bless you, you <laughs> moron. Yeah, there's your tape away, girl. Tape away. Oh. Yeah, yeah. God bless you and Satan, lady. Oh. Yeah. God bless Jesus Christ, you demonic. Get out of my building. Yeah. Darren told me who you really were. And I talked to Darren. Oh, like yeah, that. yeah. And so Tom, did I. Tom, so did I. Tom. Get the out of my building. Call the cops. Don't give her a shit. Get out of here. Get the out of here. Don't you step foot around my uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, you demonic! Oh my God! Uh, what was that even over? Like, what are they possibly arguing about? There was so much anger behind that. You demonic! Uh, and I've never seen someone so angry and using the words Jesus Christ in with that aggression, bro. Don't use the Lord's name in vain like that when you're this angry. You're demonic. Pray. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I'm your host for this one, Joss Bedard. We are checking out some male Karens. I have a part four for you guys because you guys are really enjoying it. So make sure you guys leave a like if you want a part five. Because they were upset, this gentleman. I'm not leaving. Oh. I'm going to make your night a living hell until the cops get here because you decided to record me? You don't have a night. All because I asked for music? Okay, he know that. You have a night. Know that, I'm gonna call huh? the police again. This is his living. He don't have a life. I'm gonna call the police again. What? You picked the right one. I'm really glad. All that Black Lives Matter ain't, it's bullshit, know that. Oh good. Hello, I'm waiting for police assistance. I was stopped by an Uber driver and illegally charged because I only asked for music, which is part of my contract with Lyft. What? And the driver pulled over um, for some reason and got upset. I've been waiting for police assistance because I was illegally charged. What? He pulled over only because I asked for music. I was never... Bro, you think the police care right now about your Uber ride? This guy in the front seat, man, props to him. I have not seen, I don't, even, I don't know if he's breathing. He's not moved, he's not flinched, he's not said a word. He's gonna just remain silent, let this Karen do his thing, and uh, he got charged for that ride. Never drive Lyft again. No, you will never, you will never drive. Yeah, you will never drive. Are you, are you happy now? No. By no, calling not. people. No, we, we expected a lift drive home. That's what we expected. From my, just, from put my house. Our, just put it. <gasps> oh just. Hey, hold oh on. Gosh. Hold on. You're just a f stupid idiot. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. You, you. you feel good? You. you feel good now? Do you feel good? Do you, Do you feel, feel good? good? Here, hold on, hold on. I'll feel better when I piss in here. <gasps> you piss in your car. Of course you're not. Called your bluff on that. I feel better from this video because if I was a Lyft driver and you got in my car and you didn't have a mask, I'd probably tell you to wear one as well. If you want to ride home that bad, you'll just put on the mask. It's better than walking. That's not necessary. 
take your stuff and get out of my seat, please. We will take care of it, Thank you. but I need you to stop yelling. She kneed me in the stomach. Why are you in my face? I'm asking you to stop yelling. Have I committed any type of violence since I've been on the plane? No. So what? She kneed me in the stomach. I don't no. care what she did. You're being Thank disrespectful. Thank you. Somebody get Shut this up. Up. Two seconds. I want a lawsuit. Right, right, right. I want a lawsuit right now, motherfucker. Oh, my God. I can't even take him seriously with this Burger King <laughs> crown on his head. Oh, man. I really wish I got to see the beginning, like, of what happened. She need me in the stomach is what I heard. I need to see the whole thing, but I feel like this amount of anger is unhealthy and should be removed from the plane. Go back to Mexico if you want you want to keep the thing fresh. Go back to your Mexican country your state. I'm Mexican with your fear very prejudice and I want you out of my restaurant right now. I'll finish my Oh he's the owner. You know what? I will no, do I'll, I'll do it for you man. I'll call the cops and I mean task that Dang, okay, so let's make things clear really quick. He's not the Karen. He's having a Karen freak out because of the Karens in his restaurant. So I don't think he's a Karen. I think he has every right to be freaking out like that. And the reason was, well, she was wearing a t-shirt that said what? Puerto Rico on it. You're not gonna change us, you know that? I'm not trying to change anyone. No. I'm just trying to come here no. for a birthday the party. You're not gonna change the United States of America. Okay. Period. Okay. You should not be wearing that in the United States of America. Okay. Are you a citizen? Yes, I am a Are citizen. Are you a United States citizen? Can you please get away from me? Then you should not be Can wearing that. Can you please get away you from me? Wearing United States officer, of officer, I feel Not highly right uncomfortable. Now. Can Are you, you please citizen? grab him? Are you an American uh, citizen? Please, officer. Then I'm an American citizen. I would like to know. Is he an American citizen? Why is he wearing... Um, <laughs> this man be day drinking at this park, I think, because... I'm sorry, I thought this was America. He was getting up in her personal space. He was slurring, and that officer wasn't doing anything. I'm just... Just pointing that out. She literally was like, officer, can you come over here? And he like walked the other way. Confused, concerned. You're breathing in all your own food. You're you're out of mind. You want to lick your own ass by wearing that mask. Is that how that works? Yes, that's true. You're breathing in your own secretion. You know what secretion is? Yeah, you do. You I like to do this. I think the high mixture of throat cancer, I'm going to have to scold that. I think you can do it. I think you can do it. Bacterial pneumonia. Definitely not dying. Hey, can you please stop? Ugh, I'm so over this whole mask fighting thing. Like, honestly, we're fighting over the dumbest stuff. It's so annoying. Same way you have to have shoes and a shirt on when you go into certain places. Like, Guys, the music, the government's controlling us. Yeah, they've been controlling us our whole lives. We follow laws every single day. Every day. What? <laughs> what? Oh, Don't damn. talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. you Don't talk to me like that. Go back to your own country. What? I'm Irish. I'm from here. Don't talk to me like Where that. Where were you born? I was born here. Don't talk to me like that. Oh my god, the audacity. <gasps> like he's just on like a morning walk on a Sunday. Like what is going on? But kudos to this guy on the bike who just stepped in there and is hanging out to make sure everything's okay. There are good people in this world. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Not enough slack. It pulls on it. Oh. <laughs> Some slack in there, damn. Can't say I've ever been called demonic. I have been called the devil. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not the devil, but I, not demonic. Demonic's different. That's what you do with your day. Hey, what do we want to do about this, ma'am? Uh, you can come down here and get your. <laughs> Are you on drugs? 
You're on drugs, aren't you? Just down the road around the corner. Uh, can you give me your address and I'll come get it right after we have Well, I mean, hell, I could bring it to you for it's just the fact that he did it and then now he's acting and talking this way. Oh my god, well, why don't you get the f on with your life? Hey, go back to the side before I whoop your ass. Why are you going to do it? Down here then because I'm I'm you're going to put your mom and push your mom. Yeah, why? He pushed his mom. He yeah. pushed his mom out of the way. Whoa. Okay. So my understanding is this guy dumped trash somewhere. This guy, I guess, followed him to his house and was like, "Hey, you dumped trash there." I called the cops. And this guy was mad that he got caught up in the trash. And rather than being like, "You know what? I shouldn't have done that," he got mad. He's like, "Why don't you go pick it up there?" I come out. I throw trash all over the all over the street. And then I start eating garbage. Is that a man lying down? Yes, it is. Look. Is this Walmart? Where is this? <laughs> Maybe Costco? I think it's Costco. It looks like a Costco. I can't hear him. I don't know why. I think getting closer to the screen is going to make me hear better when I have earphones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know what happened. I couldn't hear. I know you guys are gonna be like, you couldn't hear because you wouldn't shut the fuck up. Joke's on you, I couldn't hear anyways. So I was gonna keep talking throughout the video. Sorry, but guess what guys? This is, a, this is another classic case of like, you don't wanna do something, you just lie on the ground. Cause then it's like, what are they gonna do? You have to either come to a compromise or they're gonna physically remove you. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Why are you at my house, bro? With this t-shirt. <laughs> this guy's crazy. You're a Got nowhere to go? Got no home? Homeless? Now I'm going to call the cops. Perfect. Go ahead. Go for it. All you gotta do is go for it. Do it. No, no, no. Go for it. Go for it. This is your house. You just punch my car. What? You just punch my car. That's my property. How did he not break the car window? It looked like he punched it pretty hard twice. I didn't realize that car windows are that strong. I mean, I know they're strong, but I didn't realize they're that strong. So I thought a good punch, you could break it, but apparently not. That looked like a serious punch. I don't really understand why he got all aggressive. He gave him the crazy eyes, like the little like smile, the you know, the wide-eyed. So that's that's how you know you gotta just take off, you know? Stop leaning on my cart. I will go over, we can go over there, or we go part ways. You can part ways right now. No, you're in front of my cart. You're gonna try to get hit by my cart. I'm not a part idiot. Part ways, brother. I know people like part you. Part ways, brother. You? you? Know people like me, huh, brother? Let's walk over there, and then we can part ways. Let's walk, brother. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? See, we part ways over here. So you're going to tell me to stand here and like act like I'm going to No, we can you? part ways, you <laughs> idiot. Holy <laughs> shit. Ways, Stop God. standing in front of my car. Part ways, brother. Stop. Yeah. You're going to stand in front of my car Holy, when I drive. I promise you, I'm not going to injure myself then, for this. Then, like, it, this seems like almost like a, 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 like a, a bad YouTube sketch. I'm not going to injure then, myself for this. <gasps> I just don't understand what's going on, and the entire situation makes absolutely no sense. I also don't understand why he's sitting next to the car, and then he's like, you're gonna say I hit you, and he's like, I'm not gonna get injured, it's not that serious, but it's like, then why are you standing next to the man's car? Like, I just don't understand. I'd have a better understanding if you gave me, like, grade 10 algebra, or like, 1357 history of Greece, the year 1357, I'll know more about that than this situation. I'm gonna ask you one thing. Who does this guy look like? Let me ask you Looks like somebody. You do, but listen to me. You're being violent. I mean, you're inciting. Baby, that way. Baby, that way. Baby, that way. Baby, I mean, I don't understand what this guy's doing. Like, he's just walking by, giving him the finger. Like, you got nothing better in your life to do, my man? Like, come on. Nothing to me is funnier than, than two guys acting tough. This situation, these two guys going back and forth, was the funniest thing in the world. And then he's like, follow me up the street. And it's like, 
Follow you where up the street, bro? I don't know how far up the street this guy wants to go, but they're gonna be walking for a while. <laughs> You're just a kid. If you weren't a kid, you know what? I'm gonna knock that phone out of your hand. Are you mad? Your daddy didn't win. Are you mad? Oh, just sit back and relax, you dumb. Bye. Sit back and relax. I am, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Yeah. I wish you were 18. I'd oh, remove I remove your hand. I am Touch 19. Me. Touch no, me. Sweetheart. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. You're not worth it. Another. You're not worth it. Wacko. Touch me. Touch me. I dare you. I, like, I don't get it. I don't know why this guy's getting in this girl's face. This guy's got to be like 45, 50. This girl claims to be 18 or 19 years old. Why? why? Where's the animosity coming from? Why are you getting so angry? And this is a pretty big guy. Like, I don't understand. What he, what's he going to do? You're going to beat up a 19 year old? For what? Feel good about yourself? Like, buddy. It's disgusting. Do you harass your clients and, and when, when they're at your restaurant to put on masks? Sorry, <laughs> Sorry are you okay with me standing beside you? Mm -hmm. We're not, we're not going to do that. At this point, at this point, you could be facing additional charges of obstruction. I get it. I get it. So then I, I get, get it. it. I get it. You can, you're going to have to drag me out. This is absurd. Why is he saying so Completely calm? Completely like, absurd. Whatever you believe, I, I don't care. Believe whatever you want, that's fine. This is a genuine question for people that, that don't wear masks. If you do watch and you don't wear masks. Knowing that odds are, if you go into an establishment where a mask is mandatory, what goes through your mind when you're like, I'm not wearing a mask, I'm walking right in there. I genuinely wanna know, what do you think's gonna happen? Do you think they're gonna be like, you should be wearing one, but it's fine. I just, I genuinely, I'm curious. So if, if you are an anti-masker or you don't believe in it, just, I wanna know, what do you think? Like, what do you think's gonna happen knowing the situation? That's all I'm asking. He knows I'm getting kicked out of the hospital. I got AFib, atrial fibrillation. I absolutely could die within a few hours having a blood clot. These officers and these people will not let me go in. And those, they're not upholding my road without a mask. They won't let me go in without a mask. They will not uphold my rights. They will not uphold my rights. When you're, you're taping, clarify on that it's not that we're not letting you, you don't want to go in there with a mask. That's on you, not on us. Exactly. Correct? It's not, but your job is to uphold my rights. No, 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 no. no my no. civil no, no. rights. Guess what? There's a pandemic happening whether you believe it or not. That's on you. There's no pandemic. Two doctors came out here, offered to help you. Two of them. With a mask. Took away two doctors. With a mask. With other people right now. They offered for you to give you help inside, two doctors. What's a mask? I, I don't have the words. Okay, this is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. Like, you know to get in the hospital, you gotta wear a mask. So what is this guy thinking? I'm not gonna wear a mask because it's my right. Do you think the hospital cares? The guy literally said, two doctors came out here to help you. You refuse to go wear a mask. They're helping other people now. Like, like if you're, if you're gonna be that stubborn and ignorant that you're not gonna wear a mask to get into a hospital claiming that you could die, like, I don't know what to tell you. You're an employee of McDonald's. Come over here so speaking to me. It is my parking lot. Okay, okay it is your parking lot, okay? Yes. yes. And you're telling me you're going to call the police on me if I don't leave. Because I don't want you on the lot. Because I'm sitting here resting. private property. I'm sitting here resting. No, not with the sign. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not asking for money. That does not in no way say I'm asking for money. It says, have a nice day. I'm not asking for money. Would not accept money. I'm just sitting here. You're harassing me. No, I'm but I'm going to leave your property because you, threat, because you threatened to call the laws on me. You're right. You can do whatever you want to because this is America, right? No, this is a private property. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, you're right. You can do whatever you want because this is America, right? You're free to do whatever you want. And the guy just goes, no, this is a private property. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is private property. What difference does it make if this guy's sitting in your parking lot? It, like, do you really think it's gonna deter people from coming to get McDonald's? If they're going to McDonald's, they're going to McDonald's. The guy's not even asking for money. Like, bro, you're at McDonald's, you make plenty of money, you don't have to tell this guy to leave and threaten to call the cops because he's sitting there. You're on camera, identify yourself now. Yeah, ID, hold your ID up now, identify yourself. Right, you ain't coming in my house, I don't pay money to people that fund Nonsies, get the f off my property okay. now. Get the f off my property now. My f misses and kids in the house, causing them alarm and distress. F banged in the door twice. I'm gonna get you done. Get the f off my drive. I pay the f bills here, son. Hey, you wanna bully me? Bully me. I'll go get my gym bag. We'll wrap hands. We'll get on the ring. I'll knock the f out of you, son. This guy is heated. 
I don't know what this guy's job was. I don't know why he knocked on the door apparently twice, but the guy filming was heated. He just said, I'll go inside, get my gym bag, we'll put on the wraps, and we'll box it and I'll knock you out. This guy was livid. What, what did you call you me? Scared of you recording me? Scared? I don't want you scared. coming in here. Scared? What did I say what, for what scared? Because I'm black. Follow me and lose the mic, what, you feel me? <laughs> I don't want your business. Okay. Bro, you don't know who I am. I'll get you shut down, boy. Yeah, shut I'm 12 cents no, short. You want me, me to go to the ATM to get a $3 charge to get 12 cents? Just, shut your ass up, boy. Just, just Respect leave. me because I'm leave. from here. You're just not leave. from here, all right? I'm from here. No, you're not because okay. I said so. And that's not racism. I don't care what you say. The people Next from week. America don't act like you. You're a f Call the cop. They all know me. Call the cops. Yeah. I think if you're short 12 cents anywhere, odds are they're going to be like, give us the 12 cents. Go get money out of the ATM. I don't care if I charge you $3. That's not my problem. I mean, it is only 12 cents. It's not a big deal. But the way that guy handled the situation. Shut your ass up, boy. And then he's bragging. He's like, call the cops. They all know who I am. That's not a good thing. You should be interrupting me. Yes, you did say that. You interrupted me several times. Yeah, I'm sure you. And I said nothing about it. I just said, well, okay, no problem. She's got support, but it's not a big thing for me. I'm a man, and I can take that. Maybe there's a woman you can't take it. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm white, you're Latino. I what is this guy saying? I can assure you, I can take a little interruption in my conversation because we're trying to get something done here. Because you interrupt as well, I can assure you. I don't know what your problems are here. Maybe it's just because I'm white. He's not even yelling, he seems calm, but the, what he's saying, he's like, maybe you can't take it. Maybe because you're a female and I'm a male and I'm a male and I could take it. Maybe it's because I'm white and you're Latina. You, like the things he is saying, it just, there's no logic. He's just saying sexist and racist things pretty much. I, like, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say about the situation. I'm just hearing this and I'm just like, like I can't, I can't, it's like it doesn't compute because none of it makes any sense. Little, that was a little bit of a brain malfunction there. I'm like trying to think of things and the wires were just like And then I was like whoa, whoa, whoa and then I came to so come on you want someone to touch you can't touch you because it's a camera You're on camera, so I tried Your turn now Touch me bro. See what happens, bro But wow, all right guy was angry and I'm happy so that's a good balance of life I guess Gotta keep the balance. Whoa catch the wave it's like someone being like, oh, I was in the ER, and you're just like, oh, do you have this doctor? I'm there all the time, they all know me. It's like, that's not somewhere that you want to be a regular. <laughs> Can I say that again? Would you like to say that again? Hi. It's okay. It's my, I've just, she just been, she just uh, asked me to play some mask on, so I just thought I'd record it that for That's fine, yeah. So, is it, do I still have to wear a mask? Like, yeah, okay. Because I'm just shopping in the shop, mate, that's all. I just walked in and I'm just being told to wear a mask by some woman I don't even know. Are you telling me to wear a mask? You've just by said some me, woman I don't even mask? know she works there, dude. Are you forcing me to wear a mask? Are you asking me to wear a mask? Excuse me, why are you getting stressed out for? You've just approached me with a mask and said, would you like to put this on? Why are you getting upset for? I would, I would uh, suggest you go and calm yourself down outside and relax. <gasps> Don't come to customers and tell them what to do with shopping. Thank oh, you. Oh, I would have punched Put your emotions him. out first to get a job. Okay, I wouldn't have punched him, but like, what a bad word. Honestly, oh, I hate that guy. Like, it's people like that that make working in customer service so miserable and so difficult. Like, why? Why do you have to be like that? And why is she, why is she getting stressed out? Because you're being rude. That's why she's stressed out. Oh, problem solved. You're being rude. That's why she's stressed out. Oh, there's the answer to your mystery. Rude man. Thank you for like, coming out. No problem. By any chance, do you have a mask? No, I don't. Can, do you mind to put your shirt on top right here? I so, can. It's going to be really you appreciated. I'm sorry? you believe in that shit? Yes, I do. Because I have a, a family that is that is uh, sick of that. I've never heard of someone asking me to wear a mask. Well, it's because we're really close. Like, go right in the car and then... Left there. Huh? You were getting home, you should have went left there. I don't know where you're going. Maybe oh, it's taking me to the freeway. To the you want to take that way or you want to... Well, if you want to drive around me all night long without a mask, that's fine. If you want to get me home quick, you go that way. That's, that's fine. You. I don't like you. You don't like me? You want to no. get out? No, I want you to take my ass home and give me a review. I hope that that guy pulled over and kicked him out. 
Holy sm- You guys, we are starting this video off with a bang. These are some rude freaking people. Ooh, that really grinds my gears, man. I really hate that. And he just has his hand barely there. I don't like you. That guy was being so nice. He was being so nice. Five stars. Five star review for that driver. Negative five star review for that freaking guy. Okay, I have COVID. Hell. Ew. Hell. I have COVID. Hell. I have been tested positive. Hell. Hell. You okay? Hell. No, Hell. you won't be soon. Hell. Ew. People are so disgusting sometimes. That's literally assault and also saying I have COVID and then spitting on someone. If he really does have COVID, could that be considered like attempted murder or something? Pfft. I beg you. Don't make those faces. I don't like it. I don't give a like that. I don't like it. You used to watch because that's what you're acting like. A piece of it. I mean, I don't want it to escalate. I just want to have a pleasant evening. I want these people to get home. I want you to say sorry for bothering you. Whoa, I need to know more about what he is freaking out about because I actually don't know. But like, he's going off and he's like, I just want all these people to get home. Yeah, sir, we'll get off the train so that everyone can get home or whatever they're on. You think I want your tips? I sh on you. If you don't make no money, what do you want me to do? As later, he makes 70, 80 dollars a day. You make five dollars, why? You call stupid, Sal. She doesn't know how, look, when, she, when the but customer she comes in. Stupid, yes? Listen, yes, I did because she don't make no money and that gets on me. Because when the customer comes, you're supposed to give them plates, napkins, and forks. Anna, and you heard the whole thing. Please, do not justify this action. Why do you work here? This? Sales. This boss? Ew, I just, I just hate it. Like if you, it's never okay for your boss to act like that. Even if you genuinely did something wrong, your boss should never yell at you like that because we're human beings and we should be able to have constructive conversations without it blowing up like that. And working in a restaurant is already stressful enough. Plus she's wearing a mask. So it's obviously COVID times, which adds another layer of just being stressed out working at a restaurant. That's insane. That's insane. Plus, you're not making any money because it's a pandemic. Really? Really? You got it. Oh, that's why I'm black. Yeah. Seriously. Excuse me. You too. Excuse me. What, you Absolutely. think you're special? Respect. Excuse me. Why are you, you touching me? Why? Why did these people feel the need to insert themselves? Nothing was going on. They were just having a nice sidewalk lunch or whatever, drink, whatever's going on there. But like, First of all, it seems like they're more in the sidewalk, which it's called a sidewalk. So yes, it's not for biking. It's also not for sitting. So move your chairs out of the way, please, because that business is not for the sidewalk. And also you just left them alone. They would have rode their bikes past and everything would have been fine and nobody would have had to fight and you wouldn't be featured on this video having me call you a male Karen, so. It was driving I was doing nothing in the middle of the Road. I was on the road. Yes, exactly. What? In the middle of a the road. The bike is allowed on the road, you, know, you You'll actually look in the highway code. You can see that it's not you allowed to. You can actually go progress. double file. No. On the 30 mile an hour road, you stupid. Okay, I don't know what the law is there, especially because I'm obviously not from the same country that they're from, but holy smokes, he does not need to go that overboard at this person's window. Nice job. Seriously, dude, you're not supposed to have e-bikes on this thing. Uh, this is a handy pack cab piece of equipment. And? And what? Show me the rules saying that you're allowed to do this. You, you're serious? Who yeah. are you? Come on, buddy. You're you, breaking the rules at the park. You it's a handicap piece of equipment. I can't walk. You should have led with that. I said it, dear. Is this your husband? Class act, brother. Seriously. First kick. I'm gonna address her first. You should have led with that. No, because it's none of your business, quite frankly. So maybe you just shouldn't assume that somebody's breaking the rules because I, I don't know who you are to even care if somebody's breaking the rules. And it's not like he's freaking on like 
a motorbike just like tearing up the trail. You know what I like? It's he's not doing any damage. He's not hurting anyone. He's just biking along like you are. Drive like a f little cut people off on the freeway. Get out of the f car. Yeah. You got kids. Yeah. You got kids. Yeah. I got kids. You f kill me. I'll f kill you. He's a. Sh that makes sense. Drive like a. F that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. You got kids? What? That has nothing to do with anything. Why are you even asking me that? That's just weird, you weird stalker. I get traffic's annoying, but like, don't threaten people with violence. He's probably gonna go home thinking he's right. You're gonna go home thinking you're right. When in reality, maybe both of you were wrong. I don't know. Being rude is just never the option or the answer. Don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to ask you. You don't to leave. get it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. We will not be able to help you today. We're gonna have to ask no, you. No, no, it's not that you won't be able to. You no, refuse to because you're idiots. Well, no, because you won't put it on. No, because on. you're an idiot. Here, I have it on. Okay. It's on. You've asked me to put it on. Yeah, can you I have it put on. It over? No, no, because then it doesn't. That defeats the whole no. purpose. No, 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 no. I don't give a crap. I don't give a crap because this whole thing is a god lie, and you're too stupid to understand it. Like he wants to call somebody else stupid and call them idiots and whatever. And you know, but what I don't get is how stupid are you that you don't understand that it doesn't matter if she believes in masks or not. It doesn't matter if she believes in COVID or not. She is at her job and the place that she works has decided that it is a policy of theirs to have everyone in the establishment wear a mask. I don't understand why that is so hard for people to understand. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can't do anything. Yeah, because he's not been paid. You are a stupid little person. Thank why you. are you doing that to me? Thank you. Look, I was polite from the beginning, but you did not listen to me. He's not been paid. He said he it has been paid. That is the problem. You, you have know, a you problem. Need to, you need to prove to him. He knows, he knows it's been paid. I showed it to him. I didn't say that. You show me with a phone like this, but I'm out. That's what it I doesn't matter. You can, you can 459. Yeah, 459. Did you show me? And if you, if you can prove that, I will give you a What the? I will apologize. Why are you behaving like this? I right. paid my money. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, I can't give you a This is outrageous. Actually, I'll show you now. There. 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 Come on. Look at you. No, you can't have my phone. If you're shaking your phone in their face, how are they supposed to see what you're trying to show them? Like, nobody's trying to take it and steal it from you. They're literally working. Where are they gonna go? They're in the back. You know what I mean? Like, what? The, and there's cameras everywhere. Plus, you're obviously being filmed by someone else. So if they did steal your phone, you have a lot of proof of the thief. So I feel like I wouldn't worry about it. And it's four dollars and fifty nine cents, sir. I live yeah. here, sir. I actually live here. Well, you guys are like curse. Okay. But yeah, you not, were. But I don't give a who you are. Where you live? Okay. I didn't. I didn't. Think yeah, I you cut me off, and you guys should make a joke about it. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't you think did. That I see you with this. Uh, no. Your no, because if there's, oh, cause if there's any damage that happens to my car. I mean, just stay in your car. Okay. But I'm, I'm hey, confused. you're a tough guy. You wanted to follow me out here, didn't you? Uh, actually, you I thought you, I don't give a f like, come follow me in your head. That's because I like, live here. Like, you wanted to oh. oh my gosh. You guys, same as the last guy. Like, first of all, these guys got weapons. Got out of the car and got weapons, which is like next level like can you be arrested for that i guess do you have to like say that you're gonna use it to be arrested i don't know i don't know what the law on that is but like and he's like why did you follow me and he's like i didn't follow you i live here like let him go i get it you got cut off whatever it's annoying it's dangerous if you really did get cut off like but the bottom line is that no one got hurt everyone's fine there maybe could have been an accident but guess what the accident didn't happen which is best case scenario that's all the videos we have for today it was a wild ride let me know in the comments which male karen you thought was the craziest anyways thanks for checking out this video you guys i've been your host olivia kozlovsky and i'll see you next time bye Okay, this is clip 11.
I don't usually call people stupid, but if he wanted to call people stupid, then that's what's gonna happen. Like that guy buying the vitamins. Ugh, oh, they just really grind my gears, y'all.